The challenge was designed to say, hey, we don't have all the best ideas. We found that a company like GE actually can play a role, a convening role, can help kind of make these ideas come, come forward. We decided to focus on digital energy, what people call smart grid, because we viewed it as a, uh, a place where a lot of innovation could take place as a, as a commercial reality. Between uh, GE and our, and our venture capital partners, we're going to make 12 investments of roughly $55 uh, million, $45 million from GE and $10 million from our venture capital partners. We're giving five innovation grants of $100,000 each. And the first one is Ice Code, and it's Ice Code has developed an anti-icing technology for wind turbines. Capstone metering. This is about water, but it's about making water more intelligent, making intelligent water meters and have the water actually power the meters. Electric route, and they develop secure communications for the smart grid while removing the need for duplicate sensors and costly copper wires. Windflex, this is a very innovative idea. They produce rotors and turbines from light cloth. Gridon, Gridon's technology controls power quality in the grid. We, we're actually putting a hardcore device in the grid. Uh, it's something that GE, if you look on the history, you know, doing transformers, doing uh, different types of equipment which are related, um, it's very, um, you know, neutral. it's in the genes of GE. This morning's uh, conversation, uh, it seems to me, is, is all about power. What I like about this challenge is the hybrid approach, with, with GE being the industrial infrastructure, the market leader, together with the venture capital companies. You know, the role of venture capital is to take great ideas and turn them into great companies. I really applaud GE for crowdsourcing, you know, in real life, you know, this idea of an innovation jam. That innovation part of the ecosystem for the smart grid is, is, is terribly, terribly important. So in the end, these companies have as good a chance to be successful with this kind of backing, and, and that's, what we can, that's what we can bring. Digital power means consumer liberation.